coming out of the game, one major talking point was at the very end, you know, in the the, the Peter Casey hit on, on Tony Kelly, and I think it might have been Will was the final man to put in a tackle. But I, overall, in the grand scheme of things, I think there was calls that went either way for both sides over the course of 75, 80 minutes. I'm talking about Mike Casey getting a yellow that kind of curtailed him for a bit, and Garod got a yellow, you know, for... I don't know what really, and there's a few with Galan that he didn't get. So I think it'd be very unfair to to go on one decision for the outcome of a, of a game like that. Yeah, no, it would definitely be unfair. But look, the reality is, it, it was a free, right? Um, I didn't know it at the time, right? You, you, you're where, where you're looking at it. I was, I was behind the goals there in the Limerick side, and I, yeah, you you tossed, you saw Tony going down, you know, and you you were parting your mouth that. Yeah, the normal instinct for a referee is to make it a draw game. It's, for me, yeah, it probably was a free and reflection when you look back at it afterwards. But again, I was right in front of the Mike Casey one, bemused as to how you got a free out of it. Um, and again, the Grode Gro- one as well, when you see it back, you know, yellow mm-hmm. card for nothing, which curtails his influence in the game as well. So look, swings and roundabouts, we've been at the wrong end of a few of them. Jesus, the day they go with you, you, you have to be happy as well, you know, so... But again, swings and roundabouts in the game, I, I'd say, yeah, probably we, we certainly didn't get the upper hand in it, or I wouldn't be complaining about the ref either, but but these things these just the way it rolls, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I suppose I thought first half that it kind of went in Claire's way in the second half, maybe a bit towards the so even it out. Matt, your green, your green glasses on at half time, Jack, you see. <laughs> yeah, the flare the flares were in my eyes in, in the city. And Matt, what was your take, I suppose, on on that final minute and then in the context no, of the overall game. I have to differ with Morris on that now because we were we were straight over it now. And, um, you know, I, in the aftermath, I was saying to myself in, in real time, I thought I didn't see a free a free in real time. And um, I, I differed with all those that were, that were whinging about it. And um, when I saw it back, I still don't see. I, I didn't see what the free was, to be, to be yeah. honest. And... Sure. and um, you know, I'm not wearing t- green tinted glasses now, Morris, as I've been accused in the past. But, um, you know, I, you know, I'm putting myself into the referee's position. He he was coming down. He was coming into a cauldron, like uh, the 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 build up to the the this year's monster final. In my view, was like no other. And you had the whole narrative then of of Clare coming into Limerick, and if anything, that he pressure on Limerick. Now, actually, um. I, I was speaking to Tommy Gilfoyle before the game and and um, I, I just threw down that subject with him and he, he said to me, he said, there was no talk at all in Clare or, or no dissent at all in Clare about coming into the play, play in the Gaelic grounds. But um, the referee's position, I, I thought he, you know, it was a very, very difficult game. He was coming into a cauldron. You had... You know, as you said there, look at one side and you're the whole bank of green, this side a whole bank of yellow. And um, I thought overall he handled the situation well. Now, maybe there were one or two um, particular incidents where you might take issue with it, like the Mike Casey card and indeed the Garod Higarty card for that matter. But um, I think he feared, you know, that... um, he he wasn't going to allow anything to develop that would uh, uh, um, allow the game to boil over, and and I think his his use of the advantage rule was 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 very judicious, and I I think he applied it quite well. But overall, I would have no crib with the referee. Now I'm saying that from a position that we've won the game by one point, and there has been controversy about the final decision, and it went our way. Um, but um, I I would take issue with Morris that was a that was a free. Yeah, I don't know. But look, doesn't that doesn't that say it? Like we we've the we've the, I suppose the privilege of watching replays of it there now and and discussing it. Is it a free? Is it not a free? And different opinions. You know, the referees to make it a, a split decision. Forty four thousand people all baying for their the for, for the decision to go their way in in the you know dying seconds of a huge game. You know that tells you how difficult refereeing is, guys. You know. We are here this morning debating is it or is it not like that's a split second decision and some of them will go your way Matt, and some of them won't you know and you have to you have to accept it like you know that that's the way it is you know we've plenty days there now and 
I've heard plenty of Limerick supporters in the last two years saying that everything's going against us and the referees are turning and we're not getting the rub of the green. You know, and look, we got the rub of the green, call it whatever way you want to. I feel we got the rub of the green. And you know what? Isn't it great? You accept it when you get it. And when it doesn't go your way, you have to take it on the chin then and the other side of it. So, But that will tell you how difficult refereeing is, Matt. We're here debating what oh. it was about, uh, uh, three days later, you know. Yeah, absolutely. John Kiley made the, the the point in his post match interview afterwards when he was asked about that uh, that that very thing about wh whether it was a free or not, and he 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 referenced back um, the situation in the twenty nineteen All Ireland final, or sorry, All Ireland semi final with Kilkenny when we were yeah. obviously deprived of a of of, of a sixty five right at the death and. He, basically what he said, you've just got to suck it up and get on with it, you know, and I suppose that is the situation. I agree totally with yeah. you on that. And, yeah. and if memory serves me correct, I think John's post-match interviews after that were we had enough opportunities during the game to win it and we didn't take them and, and he took it on the That's chin right. that day as well. Yeah, no, That's right. Um, Absolutely correct, Morris. Absolutely. Yeah.